Hi guys! So today I'm finally going to share with you my overly obnoxious obsession, which is my entire Disney Lounge Fly bag collection. In total, I have 40 lounge fly bags. I have unfortunately sold off little bits and pieces of my collection. Um, I did this during uh, the beginning of the pandemic. I am a little bit of a both type of collector. I do have a lot of bags that I have never used either because I haven't found the right time of season or the right outfits and stuff to go with it so I just haven't used them yet or the fact that they are just something that I buy to collect and not necessarily use. And I do get a lot of my bags from Box Lunch, from Hot Topic, and from Loungefly.com. And when I get them from Hot Topic and Box Lunch, I do use either Lunch Money or Hot Cash. And I started to collect bags in 2018, I believe, and I remember my first bag. So I have five different collections within my Loungefly collection, and we're gonna go through all of them today, and I'll put timestamps up on the screen if you guys just want to skip around to those specific parts if there's something that you're not necessarily interested in. The first one we're going to do is 101 Dalmatians because I've been collecting 101 Dalmatians since I was little. 101 Dalmatians has been my favorite Disney movie since I was three so that really kick-started my Loungefly collection um, but we're going to start with that. Again I own 40 bags in total. That's not accounting for change purses, card holders, and wallets which will also be shown throughout the video. So the first bag that I ever bought was this beautiful, beautiful 101 Dalmatians Loungefly mini book bag. And this one is fairly large, if not, I think one of my largest bags in my collection. So I don't even know if you would consider this a mini. But um, I got this at Box Lunch, and it's really funny because I had heard a lady say, like, oh, I want the 101 Dalmatians one. And me being me, I was like, you say what about my favorite movie of all time? And then I see this and I was like, so this is my first bag. I did get this at box lunch and I believe this was $59.90. So this is my most expensive bag that I bought at store because it was before I had coupons or anything, um, but I could not resist. I had to take it home and I am just obsessed with the pattern on it. It's got all the different puppies. I love that it's white. Unfortunately, it did yellow and I'm not exactly sure why or how because I don't use it all that often, but it did yellow all the way around the zipper. I did recently just order a bag sealant, so maybe I'll actually spray my white lounge fly bags as well because I haven't used this in forever. I've just kept it um, on a shelf in my room, not like in a closet or anything. So again, I don't know how that yellowing would happen. It has Rolly as the little zipper tag. Look at how cute he is. I love all the different puppies. And it carries onto the back. And the inside is spotted. And I remember when I got this bag, I could not shut up about it. I posted it on Facebook. I sent it to my mom. I was so excited. Matching card holder. And it is a button. So then you just open up this so you can stick all your cards in there. And it has the same pattern on it that is on the bag. And then it has... I don't know if this is lucky. I think it's lucky. As the tag, I can't see his back fully, but I'm thinking that it's lucky. And then on the back here is a place for your ID. I love their card holders so much. I never used a card holder until I started to collect Loungefly. And they're literally so useful. I love these because you can just take it out and go. So then we have all the rest of my Dalmatian bags. These are obviously in no particular order as to when I got them. So this first one that I see on top is this spotted bag and it has some puppies on the front with a little red balloon. Super cute. Um, again, another white based bag. I haven't used this yet. It actually still has its tags on it. I buy the Dalmatian ones more so from a collector standpoint since I collect 101 Dalmatian stuff. So I don't necessarily use them even though they're some of my favorite bags because I don't want them to get damaged and especially seeing that yellowing on that bag I'm like uh oh this is a lounge fly bag some lounge fly bags that you get from Hot Topic don't actually say lounge fly on them but it does indeed say lounge fly on the tag there so that way you guys know 
that this is certified Disney lounge fly. I really prefer it when they say lounge fly because then they're always like a metal sort of tag and they're not just this sewn on fabric but I think it's a little more simplistic on this bag and it doesn't really pull away from the design. And then I did get the matching card holder as well which again still has its tags on it because I haven't used the bag. But I love this one because it is one of the sideways ones. So what's great about these is that you have room in the middle to put some cash but then you can put some cards over here. You have the two puppies with the bone, and then on this side you have the puppy with the balloon. This bag, which is very interesting, I wasn't expecting it to look like this when I got it, but I still do like it. It's one of the more unique style lounge fly bags. It is a canvas square bag, and it is a book bag, but it does have these two handles up here, which is super nice if you just want to kind of carry it around. And I have used this bag. I've used this bag um, antique shopping and going to flea markets. I think it's great because it's a canvas material, so it's easy to clean. And you can just kind of store everything that you're thrifting or antiquing, flea marketing, whatever inside. So that's what I use this for typically. And then it has all of these embroidered little puppies all over it. And then on the inside, it is a reverse spot pattern, which I think is super clever. Loungefly's website, this is part of their clearance. I'm not exactly sure how much this bag was originally, but I'm pretty sure when I got it, it was 25. Next up, I do have this little card holder here, which is a Dalmatian with a bunch of cookies. And then on the back is the spots with the cookies. And then here is the tag. I have this striped Dalmatian bag, which I have used. That's why it has these keychains on it. Um, I do like to put keychains or pins or accessories on my bags that I do wear and use because I'm using them. So I'm obviously going to put stuff on them and in them. I totally understand people that just buy them to have and they don't use them, but I like to do both. So I got this bag. Um, I think I got this off of Loungefly. No, my mom I think got this for me off of Box Lunch if I'm not mistaken. And then it has these two little keychains on it. But it's so cute and I love that the strap at the top is red as well as the, the back straps. I think that that is so awesome with the little red border. And then the inside is, you can probably guess, but it is spotted as well. Matching wallet, which has this beautiful embroidered Dalmatian on the front. And then on the back, it is striped. And then on the inside, it is red with spots. And I think it's so cute. This is probably one of my favorite wallets, as well as the little card holder, which again, has a little puppy on it with all the stripes. You unbutton it, and then these are actually your card slots. And then the back is red with polka dots. I also have the crossbody, which looks like this. So it's got this gorgeous red flap with that embroidered puppy from the wallet. And then there's a little embroidered puppy right here. And then when you open it, there's another puppy. So you got Lucky up there and they're kind of looking at each other. And I think that's the cutest thing. I love it. And then again, the inside is spotted. Really pretty brown sort of faux leather with this really nice gold paw detailing. I absolutely love how they did this, but you can kind of see Pongo right there. And then up here, you can see Pongo and Purdy, their bottoms. Right there, you can see them really good, but it's got all of the dogs. You can especially see them on the back. But you have some of the dogs from Lady and the Tramp. You have Lady and Tramp themselves. And who else is on here? Oh, Copper's on here. Dodger's on here. Georgette's on here. Um, Tito, Tito, however you say his name from Oliver and Company's on here. And then Pongo and Purdy. But I bought it mainly because of Pongo and Purdy. But this was at Box Lunch. I love how the straps are striped like the front. I think that's amazing. And there is a gold paw on the zipper for one of these. And then there's a gold one for the front pocket as well. And I did get the matching card holder as well. I love this one because it's like a little envelope. So you pop this open and then that's where your cards go. They're kind of hard to get out, I'm not gonna lie. And this one did have Pongo and Purdy right here. So I was really happy with 
picking these out in the store. And then on the inside is all the paw prints and it has all of the dog's names that are on the outside of the bag, which I thought was super cute. Next up is another bag that I got from loungefly.com on sale and it is my Cruella bag. And I have never used this bag because I don't think I really necessarily love the cosplay bags as they're called because I think they're a little too loud for me. I don't know how to explain it. Like I love them, but I don't think I could pull them off. Um, but I do like this bag a lot and I love that she has her green eyeshadow on looking like a boss. Amazing. And then it's supposed to look like she's wearing like a jacket or something. And then it's got red around the lounge fly right there. Solid red. And then the matching wallet. It's crazy because it's almost the same size. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, but it is Cruella again, and then the back is just a bunch of spots, and then the inside is black. I got this from Hallmark, believe it or not. Hallmark sells a very limited lounge fly selection, and I used to work for Hallmark, so I would have a bunch of rewards dollars from buying ornaments or birthday cards and stuff like that, so I saved them up until I had um, $30 and I ordered this with free shipping, so this only ended up being like $5. To go with it, um, I bought this little card holder, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. I like it because it's super soft and flexible, and it is all of the perfume bottles for the villains, and there's a Cruella one. Then I have this beautiful bag. I love this bag so much. I got this from Barnes & Noble. This was a Barnes & Noble exclusive. So unfortunately I didn't get any discounts on it or anything and it was pretty expensive. Barnes & Noble's lounge fly is not cheap. I love it so much because it's Pongo with the puppies and he's got a puppy on his head which I have a 101 Dalmatians thigh tattoo and Pongo and Purdy both have puppies on their head. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to get it because it's like my tattoo. And I love it because you can see the background of the house behind them and it's just so aesthetic because it's the same exact like art style as the movie and it just really pleases me. And then down here it says 101 Dalmatians with a bunch of puppies behind it. Love the color of this bag. I love that it's not white. I love that it's like a muted gray and blue. And then the emblem is down here. Love about the inside. Oh my god, I found the freaking... My coin purse. The inside is spotted, but there's puppies in the spots. I think that's so clever. I love the detail of this bag. I think it's one of the most detailed bags. I do have the matching card holder as well. It does have a little strap. I took the strap off when I used it. I have used this before. I just haven't used the matching bag, but it is so cute. It has Pongo with the puppy on his head and then all of the Dalmatians are behind them. And then it's really cute. It's got this back here and the zipper and it just kind of buttons open. You got like two card slots, you have the pocket here for your money, your ID, and then these are also little side pockets as well if you wanted to put anything else in there. I also have this coin purse. I couldn't find it for the longest time, but I'm so happy that I found it because I've been using a Dalmatian bag and I wanted a Dalmatian coin purse and I couldn't find this. I lost it, but this is also Loungefly. I got this from Hot Topic and it is just stunning. It's two cuddling puppies with the reverse background. And then on the back here, it says, woof. The last Dalmatian bag is my most expensive Dalmatian bag. And I did get this um, resell. I got this off of Mercari. It's a really pretty bag. I haven't used it because I'm too scared to use it because it was really expensive, but it is so cool. And it is a Disney Parks exclusive. So the only way you could get this was at Disney Parks. I don't know if it ever went on Shop Disney. Gorgeous. I bought this a while ago. I think I got this in April. Um, but it is so cute. And this one actually says Disney Parks Lounge Fly on it. So you know it's a Disney Parks exclusive. And I love how the zipper pulls are this fabric. I think it's stunning. And then the inside is red and black striped. This little hook as well as these are also that striped material. That is officially all of my Dalmatian bags. Next up we have my Nightmare Before Christmas collection which is more than my Dalmatian collection 
and I think it's because the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is so massively produced. So I guess I'm going to show you some of the card holders and wallets that I have that don't have like matching bags. This little card holder which I think is so cute because it is Jack and Zero with all of the little card slots and then it does have this really awesome zipper on the side if you want to put in some change or some cash it is secured with the zipper i really really like that and then on this side it's a really big jack and it does have another little slot up at the top there this wallet which i have used so much it even has some cards in it still like little gift cards but i got this from hot topic and it was on clearance for I think $10 and it was part of their like buy two get one free clearance and it is this Jack wallet and he's holding a pumpkin and there's some pumpkins and then the mountain is behind him with the moon super cute and then it does have a pumpkin on the little clasp here and then it does open and you have some card slots here card slots here room for your ID there's pockets on both sides and it just holds a lot of stuff in it. I love this wallet so much. And then on this side, it says the Nightmare Before Christmas, and then it has zero. I do also own this wallet. I got this from loungefly.com as well, and this was on sale for $15. They had all three of them, I think, on sale, but I only ever bought um, Barrel because, I don't know, I feel like Barrel's kind of underrated, and I thought that he looked cool, but it's this wallet with his little ears sticking out and his face i think he looks so cool and then on the back it's kind of like the little skeleton moment and this one does have a plaque and it's got a nice zipper in the back here and then what i love is just how extensive this wallet is so you have this side with all of the card holders and then on this side with all the card slots as well they go this way and your id i have never used this because i got it and i was like oh my god because it's so big but i think the concept is so cool but it is my zero wristlet and again this is a wristlet look at how big it is <laughs> i'm like but i love it it's so cute it's just a flat uh picture of zero and then on the back it has this pocket right here which is where you open and you can put in whatever it is you're carrying this has the same striped pattern as the barrel bag on the inside and the little charm on the zipper pull is zero's doghouse how cute is that and then it does have the metal plaque I got this off of loungefly.com in the clearance section again. I think I paid $15 for this and it originally retails for $40, but I was like, that's such a crazy price for a wristlet, but now I understand because it's freaking huge. <laughs> and then what's so cool is that the, the strap is clear, so if you wear it like a wristlet, it just looks like he's floating. I do have this little mini <laughs> number here. This is a really small bag, but it is my Zero Nightmare Before Christmas bag, and it is super small. This thing is so tiny, y'all. Look at how small this is. <laughs> and it has this really big crossbody strap, as well as the two little handles up at the top here. And it's got this really pretty matte kind of... Um, yellowy cream colored pattern with zero all over it. I got this from Hot Topic. I got this online. I think it was only $15 when I got it. It was on clearance. They had a bunch of bags that were like the same size on clearance. So I guess they didn't really do that well, but they are super tiny. And the opening is also super small, so it's really hard to fit anything in it, but it is just solid black on the inside. And then we have a little bit of a bigger crossbody, and that is my Oogie Boogie. It's got Oogie Boogie on it bunch of really cool designs and it spins he looks phenomenal i love this bag and then on the inside it has more doodles and bugs and dice and little things on it it's crazy it's got two pockets such great storage with this one on the back it's got the little plaque and then it has this little button and when you open it, it's got another pocket. 
as a little like keychain on the side here and yeah this one's a really nice size i have used this one quite a lot i do love to wear this one out especially during halloween time and it's a definite conversation starter i've had a lot of people ask me about this bag and my good friend jasmine actually gifted this to me i also have this fanny pack which i haven't been able to use because of everything going on i haven't been going to any shows or like the any sort of places where I would need a fanny pack. So I haven't been able to wear this yet, but I did get this from Box Lunch again, and this was part of their buy one, get one. And it's got this really pretty picture of Jack holding zero, and I think that they look so cute. And the strap is really nice. It's a black and white stripe. And then the zipper is the same. I really, really love that. And then on the inside, it's a bunch of little zeros. I think it is so cute. They did such a good job with this fanny pack. $31.99, so I think I paid for this and then got the fanny pack free. I don't have any matching bags for this. I haven't used this yet because I keep using that other Nerf for Christmas wallet, but I do love this wallet and I'm happy that I got it on sale. And it is the Vampire Teddy little wallet. It does have the plaque on it and it's just got Vampire Teddy all over it. And then on the inside, you have your card slots, your ID. This is a pocket back here, and this is a pocket. Just like my Dalmatian canvas bag, I also have a Jack one. I got this at the same time on um, the Loungefly website on clearance, and it's so cool because there's two different Jack faces. So in one of them, he's super happy, and then in the other one, he's mad. The inside is just like the fanny pack, except it's like matte. Um, and it's got the same exact style zero on the inside. We have this beautiful bag. I got this off of Depop secondhand, and this was only $20 because the back of it is damaged. If you guys can see here, it was, it was disclosed in the listing, and that's why it was so cheap. There's a bunch of scratches here. It looks like it got snagged on something. I'm not exactly sure. But I love this bag because it has all of the characters on it. You have Zero, Vampire Teddy, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, Oogie Boogie. You have Ducky. You have Jack and Sally. You have even the Jack in the box. And then the zipper pull in the front is a metal Jack face, which I think is super cool. And it just says Nightmare for Christmas up here. I believe this was a Hot Topic exclusive. Next up, we have two bags that I got from Walmart. Walmart often does collaborations with Funko in terms of bags, and Loungefly was purchased by Funko, so the Funko bags are technically the same company. So these are put out by Funko, but since Funko owns Loungefly, they're made out of the same materials and stuff, except the characters look like Funko Pops. And what I love about these bags as well is that they are super affordable. So I got this bag. They are super, super cute. And it just says the Nightmare for Christmas. And I love that it's just the three of them. You've got the houses in the back and the tree and they're on the hill. And then it's just a boom, pop of yellow from the moon. It is so cute. And then I have used this bag quite a lot, so it does have a zero pop uh, keychain on it, which I'm surprised this hasn't fallen off or broken yet. Um, they had a coin purse, which I use this in all of my Nightmare Before Christmas bags as well. This is my go-to coin purse, similar with my go-to wallet. But it's super cute because on this side it is Jack's head, and then on this side it is Sally's head. So they released this at the same time as this bag. I got this bag, and this was the bag that they released last year for Halloween. Um, and I love this one as well. It is so cute, and it's got all of the Funkos on it. This was the same price as the other one, but I think this one's a little more bang for your buck because it has the front pocket on it. So it's got Ducky, Teddy, Zero, Jack, and Sally. Re-released the coin purse, but it is slightly different. So this one still has its tag on it because I've never used it, but it is Sally and Jack again. And you guys may be wondering, it looks the same. Well, Sally is exactly the same, however, Jack's face is different, and this one's a much, much brighter white color. We have this beautiful bag, which I got from Hot Topic. I love this one because I love the art style that's on here, and I also love that Lock, Shock, and Barrel are actually in the tub, and this bag has the mayor on it. 
I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the beautiful pattern. I love the color of the tub and the color of Oogie Boogie. And I just think they did a really good job with this bag. Then we have this really, really pretty crossbody bag. It's kind of annoying because it's this chain strap. I don't really like chain straps. They twist and then they get really uncomfortable and then they get stuck and it's just, it's a mess. I always get them caught on stuff. I don't know how, but it is the tarot card crossbody. So it's actually this rectangle shape. It's pretty unique. But on this side, you have the lovers, and it is Jack and Sally. And then on this side, you have Death, and it is Zero and his doghouse. I love this bag. The inside is pumpkins, cats, and bats. And then I also have the matching um, card holder, and it has Oogie Boogie as the fool on it. Super cute. And then it has Lock, Shock, and Barrel in the tub as the Chariot, which I also really love. And this one's really nice because it is an accordion card wallet. Then we have one of my more recent Nightmare Before Christmas bags. He is so cute because he's actually sparkly. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but he's glittery. I love his little ears. I love the little handle up here and his little face. So cute. The plaque is on the side. And then the inside of this bag is a bunch of zeros collaged on the inside to turn on. There's like a little pocket with wiring in here. It's really tricky if you're using this bag to not get the wires caught on stuff. So just be careful. But you do have to turn it on and off and you can replace the battery. But when you turn it on, the nose lights up. And then the last bag that we got, which I love so much, is my Santa Jack bag. Um, I did get this off of loungefly.com. This is one of the few bags that I have paid full price for, and I got it when it dropped, and I haven't seen it. It was never released to other stores, like it wasn't put on box lunch, it wasn't shared with Hot Topic or anything. Um, so this was like a lounge fly only and it's got the fluffy beard here and you can actually lift it up and see his little belt and then it's got the fluffy band here and then this is like a real poof ball as well. It's really tricky to try and make sure it doesn't get dirty but I managed to pull it off. I used this for the whole month of December last year and I got a lot of compliments on it. A lot of people loved it. It's Vampire Teddy sticking out of like a little toy sack that Santa would have. And then the inside is Christmas lights. And I loved that so much because I have Christmas lights on my Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo. But we have my little miniature Coraline collection, which I'm super happy with. I'm really proud of it. I try to buy the Coraline bags when they come out. I know I've probably missed some older style bags, but I love the ones that I do have. The first bag I got I had actually seen this in a box lunch store and I was like, oh my god, I want that bag, but I'm going to wait until I have my lunch money to get it. So I ended up getting my lunch money and I had Brandon take me back to the mall to see if they had it and they did and I was so excited. And this is one of my favorite style of purses that Loungefly makes and I only own two bags in this style but it is this gorgeous like sack bag. The details on this specific style is so great. It's Coraline in her pajamas and the mantis and the jack-o'-lanterns. This is another really good bag to wear during like the fall season or Halloween time. It is super cute. I absolutely love this bag. The pattern goes all the way around and then the back has one clasp for both of the straps and then you can wear it. It is so stunning. I love this bag. I did get the Loungefly keychain that is the button key. So I did add this to the bag. It is so nice and it's this really pretty striped pattern on the inside. And I do also have the matching card holder which has the same exact pattern just smaller on it. 
so you can put cards on both sides. All three of these bags released last year, which was crazy. I was like, oh my god, three Coraline bags. This one is from Hot Topic. Again, got this one with Hot Cash. This one just says Coraline on it. It doesn't say Loungefly, similar to that first Dalmatian bag I showed you guys that had all the spots all over it. I love this one because it's got um, nice little symbols all over it. And then it has Coraline right on the front. Super, super cute. And then there's a button key as the little zipper pull for the front pocket. Matching wallet, which has the same design on the front with these two beautiful little like buckles, claps, clasps. And it is also a wristlet like the Dalmatian one was. But you open up this and you have a pocket down here and then you have an id holder and some card slots so not as roomy for how big it is it doesn't hold a lot but i really do like it and i'm happy that it matches the purse and then on the back it actually says Coraline and Loungefly. Next up we have the Coraline cosplay bag. This one isn't necessarily my favorite but when I saw that it was coming out I was like I have to get it so I did get it. I do still like it and I have used it before. I actually used it for Halloween last year. Um, I like cosplayed as Coraline so I used it last year. It is a little loud in the terms of its bright yellow but I think it's cute I don't own a lot of yellow purses I think if you're wearing the right outfit you could definitely pull this off any time of year and I love it because it doesn't necessarily scream Coraline like to some people it may just look like a yellow bag but it has her little dragonfly hair clip I'm kind of sad that this is rubber I wish it was like a metal but it's just rubber and then it has the two buttons this is supposed to be her raincoat and then the sides, they're not pockets, but they're faux denim, like her denim pants. The last bag that I have, I actually got this one with my mom when I had hot cash. Again, this one came from Hot Topic. I love this one because it's got an actual like still from the movie, and I don't own any bags that have that on it. Most of them are redesigns or drawings and stuff. They're not actually stills from the movie, so I think that's super unique, and I absolutely love this bag. I love the style of bag. This is the only Loungefly bag that I own that's this style, and it's Coraline in the tunnel, and I think that she looks so cute, and it says, be careful what you wish for on the bottom, and it's got these beautiful bright blue straps right here that you can um, you can wear it like a tote like this or you can kind of just wear it like this or if you just want to hold it. And then it does also have a strap for you to wear it like a crossbody bag as well. Now I'm going to show you guys all of my Pokemon bags. So the first Pokemon bag that I ever bought was this little bag. It is super tiny but I love it. I got this from Hot Topic and it's very like discreet like it doesn't scream Pokemon. I did put on this Squirtle keychain which is super cute but it is a tropical bag and it has all the starters like hidden in it so there is a little Charmander there we have a Pikachu here there's a Bulbasaur here on the back I can show you there's a little Squirtle it does say Pokemon Loungefly at the top this bag was I think $30 at Hot Topic next up I have this set that I got from Best Buy this is actually a Best Buy exclusive set and it is just Pikachu and Eevee so Pikachu and Eevee are all over it it does say Pokemon Loungefly there with this really thin pocket in the middle right on the front super super small it's got two magnetic clasps and then on the back it's P Pikachu and Eevee and then my little mini wallet very similar to the vampire teddy one it just has a miniature design of the Pikachu and Eevee all over it and then when you open it it's just brown on the inside I also got this one which is a pokeball i kind of regret getting this one because they did end up releasing another one but it's a pin holder so it's got all the pins uh places on the front that you can put pins and then it has a clear plastic over it so they don't fall off i really wish i would have gotten that one instead because i have so many pokemon pins from all of our collections that we buy when we get pokemon cards 
So I'm kind of hoping one day I can get that bag and then I'll just get rid of this one. I do also have this little uh, coin purse card holder that has a really cute Pikachu on this side and then it has Eevee on this side and I just got this to go with either any of my bags as like a little coin purse and it's got two really cute Hawaiian flowers as like the little charms. Next up we have my Evolutions bag. This is a Hot Topic exclusive bag and I love this bag and it's pastel. It's super pretty. I think this would be great for around Easter time and springtime. So I'm hoping to be able to use it this year um, because again, I got it kind of in a different season and I like to use my bags kind of in season and, and try to style them that way. But I love this bag it has all the evolutions on it, like Leafeon, Umbreon, Vaporeon, Eevee. And I don't own any Pokemon bags where it's a bunch of different Pokemon. Um, I missed out on a lot of those, but I love this one. This is the other bag of the same style of the Coraline bag that I was telling you guys about. And it is this bag. I also got this one from Box Lunch and I love this one. It is so dainty and cute and I love the coloring on it. And it doesn't, again, necessarily scream Pokemon unless you get close to it. There's nothing wrong with it being obnoxiously Pokemon. I just like also having bags that are a little more subtle <laughs> um, to go with my obnoxious bag. So I love this one. I bought it because I love the style of this bag and I never see this bag like ever and I just I love it but it's got a really nice embellished like charm of Pikachu and Eevee it says gotta catch them all and then it's the Pokemon lounge fly right there at the bottom I love the shade of blue but it's got two straps or a two little clasp on it and then you can pull these down and then on the inside it's got a dark brown fabric that also has Eevee and Pikachu on it on the inside. I did get the matching wallet with it and you can put all of your cards in here. Super cute. I can't, I can't with this bag. This is like one of my favorite bags just because of how cute it is, but I've never used it because I'm just like, do I really want to go out in public with this thing? <laughs> but I do, like I do, I just am so nervous too sometimes. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it is so cute. It is a snubble. I love the baby blue details on this with the straps. It does have the um, little uh, plaque there. It's got a light blue handle and it just zips open in the middle. It's a really nice size too and the inside is baby blue and it has pink pokeballs all over it. And I got this because it is one of my favorite Pokemon and it is the name of our beloved little demon cat <laughs> and it is Charmander and this one's a really cute cosplay bag. I don't think this one's as crazy as the other ones because it is a giant Charmander but he pretty much stays in the size of the bag. I love his little flame on his tail and he looks so happy and cute. It has red straps and it has a red little plaque on the side here. I like it when they put the plaques on the side. I think that's really cool. And then on the back, it's a four because that's his number in the Pokedex. I did order this off of the Loungefly website. This was a Loungefly exclusive. I don't think it ever again got shared anywhere. It is super cute because it's got a bunch of different Charmanders on the inside, all with different faces and expressions. And yeah. Once I am able to wear this bag, I'm gonna love it. You guys, we did it. We're at our final section for my lounge fly collection. And I'm so happy to finish this video because it's been a long haul. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed it so far. These are all bags that I only have like one of and they don't really fit anywhere else. The first bag here I got for Christmas from my mom last year and it is a lady in the tramp bag and this is when they're eating the spaghetti and the spaghetti's in the little shape of a heart and I think it's so cute and then on the back it's got the really cute wine glass um or wine bottle like candle so cute I love the shade of blue that this bag is it is stunning and I think that my mom ordered this from Box Lunch. I would love to get the matching wallet for this one because it looks like Tony's restaurant but it's like a menu and it's so cute but I don't know if I ever will. 
The inside is the pattern of the tablecloth. Next up we have my Buzz Lightyear bag. I got this from Hallmark and it was 75% off so it was only $15 which was a crazy good deal for it. I love Buzz Lightyear. He was probably one of my favorite Disney characters growing up. I was literally all obsessed with him for some reason and I love that his patches are on the side. And then on the inside is the green aliens which i think is so cute i got this bag from box lunch as well um i got this one in store and this one is huge and i love this bag i've only ever used it once took this with all of the stuff to get ready for my wedding so i had like my straightener in here my makeup my brush my deodorant my sprays i haven't worn it out before all of the characters from the aristocats on it and this is my favorite aristocats bag that they've released and the inside is just a bunch of music notes which i think is super cute and then i got these to go with it this one i didn't i liked the bag that went with this purse but i never ended up buying it don't think i ever will now but um, I just keep this with the bag and it's got all the three little kittens and it says enjoy the little things on it and then they're also on the back in the flowers. I think it's super dainty and super cute. I also have this card wallet with the big Marie on it. Super pretty pink color and then you open it and you can put all of your cards on the inside. Next up we have this bag here which is a pin trader or holder bag. I bought this with the intent of turning it into a 101 Dalmatians bag, so I was going to put a bunch of 101 Dalmatians pins on the front. Um, but what I've been doing is buying duplicates of like the lounge fly pins that they put on like Hot Topic and Box Lunch because they're only like six or seven dollars and they're even cheaper if you get them with the coupons. So I've been buying duplicates so I have them in my pin collection but that way I could also put them on my bag because I'm also worried since this doesn't have a plastic cover on it that the pins are just gonna snap off. Um, I've also debated on making a video where I like show you guys me customizing this because I got some cute keychains to put on it as well to really make it a 101 Dalmatians purse. So let me know if you guys still want me to do that. We have this gorgeous Hedwig bag. They make so many Harry Potter bags, but I've never really fallen in love with them like I've fallen in love with this Hedwig bag. I love this brown that they chose to accent it. I love that it's a crossbody and it's super dainty. It is bigger than that zero one. And I love that the zipper goes all the way around so you can open up the whole purse. And then it's even bigger on the inside. But on the inside, it says Harry Potter everywhere and it has more flowers it is so stunning this is a really nice bag to wear in the summertime this which is my smallest lounge fly book bag this is their mini mini bags and my mom and i got mini mini bags together at box lunch so i got miko from pocahontas eating a little biscuit and there's a bunch of biscuits on the front i love the color of this bag it is so cute and then on the inside, it is teal with a bunch of little raccoon footprints. And it's just super cute because it's so small. And I love this bag. I use this one quite often. My mom and I got these during their buy one get one free on the clearance again. Next up, I have another Miko bag. I got this one from Hot Topic. The inside is solid black. And... It has Miko with a bunch of fall leaves and then sunflowers. I got this one because my mom collects sunflowers and she loves sunflowers, so this bag reminded me of her. He's on here and he's super small, but he's also spread all the way around as well. And I thought that that was super cute too, that they're together. I have this little coin purse and it's a little obnoxious, but I love it. And it's a popcorn <laughs> It's a popcorn bucket, and it says Dumbo with a little Dumbo on it, with the popcorn. And it's got the metal lounge fly, and it's got blue stripes on the inside. Next up, we have this Alice in Wonderland wallet, bread and butterfly, I think is what it's called. So it's bread and butter, but it's the butterfly. Um, and I have a tattoo of one of those, and it says, do you suppose she is a wild flower? And it's this really pretty pattern. It, they made a crossbody with this pattern, but I never ended up getting it. 
And then on the inside, it's the bright version of the pastel outside, which is super cute. And then I have this ID holder. I love this to just clip on other bags, but it is the mouse from the tea party. It has a little teacup charm up here. He is so cute. And then it has a little slot in the back. This again would be great if you were going to Disney World or something and you had a pass or something, but I live in Ohio, so that's not the case. Um, this is super cute though. I stick it on other bags, which you guys will see here in a second the bag that I plan to attach this to. Um, I also got this bag from my mom for Christmas. I love this bag. It's very similar to the style of the Coraline bag and the Pokemon bag that I like, except it doesn't have the zip ups on the side. So it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much the same and it does cinch. And the inside is this beautiful pastel pattern with flowers and Alice. And then Alice is there, like she's going off. She's going off into the wilderness in the flower garden. And I think it is stunning. I love that it's a cream color, but I did also just get this one for Christmas. I plan to wear this one very, very soon in the springtime. And I think it's gorgeous and I love it. And with that, that is my complete 100% Loungefly collection. You guys have been asking for this video ever since I did my first Loungefly haul with you. And it's finally here. We finally did it. I haven't bought Loungefly bags in a while, honestly. I've been pretty good. I haven't been buying them. I definitely was buying a lot at a time because I had the coupons and they were having sales and I was following the pages and whenever something was dropping, I was looking and I just unfollowed the pages and it definitely narrowed everything down for me. Um, it made me take a step back. I have also dulled down my collection and I've sold a lot of my bags off that I just haven't ever used. But I've really taken a step back, so I'm really content with the bags that I have, and I think it's more than enough bags. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. But I love you guys, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.